Hello everyone, it is Night Dagger. I'm back again with some more OnLink. Let's go ahead and log back into OnLink here. Welcome back to your gateway. Alright, first things first, let's check how we're doing. We have about 11,000 credits in the bank. One of the first things I'm going to want to do is connect to the Uplink bank. No, I don't need to create a new account. Need to manage my existing account. And I want to pay off my loan. It's going to cut into my available balance a little bit, but that way I'm not paying interest on it. So, there we go. That leaves me with 8,000 credits. We're going to disconnect from this server. Let's go ahead and get our trace tracker going. The trace tracker, unfortunately, will turn off every single time you quit the game. You have to restart it. Alright, let's come down here and go into Uplink Internal Services. Let's go back to the mission list. We should have a few more missions available now because we got an increase in our rank. So let's see here. We've got create a part of a new identity. That's going to be social security, which I don't think we can hit yet. Um, the international academic, I think we can hit. Let's go to software upgrades and let's get us something to help with this. We're going to get IP probe. Type in use version information. Type in use version information and status. We don't need that much information. However, it would be nice to be able to find out exactly what's going on with servers before we hit them. So let's go ahead and purchase the IP probe software. Now let's go take a look at our hardware upgrades menu. Uh, there are some different categories here. Processors is exactly what you would expect. It's different processes that you can buy. We already have one 60 gigahertz processor. Um, we can't really do anything right now simply because, well, it would replace our existing processor. We'd only get an extra 40 gigahertz and it's not worth it. So we're going to hold off on processor for right now. Modems. Our current gateway I think can only handle a 2 gigaquad modem. It's not worth the upgrade. Let's skip that. RAM, we only have one RAM slot and we already have a 16 gig in there, so that's actually a downgrade for us. Memory. We could cap out our memory, but let's hold off. May as well save up for a new gateway. Security, this is the different security systems that you can get. Um, the motion sensor and the self-destruct work together. When you have the motion sensor running, it gives you a little red bar up here. It's usually right under here, if I remember right. It's a little bar. It starts out gray. It has two other modes, yellow and red. Yellow means that someone from the Uplink Corporation is near your gateway. It means they're doing an upgrade or something. Red means there are a lot of people near your gateway, which usually indicates the feds. Now, just being able to see that they're there doesn't do you any good. The self-destruct, however, lets you blow up your gateway. The downside is that anything that was in your gateway, all of your software, all of your hardware, everything that you had purchased up to this point is destroyed. You're immediately logged out of the game because you lose your connection to Uplink. The upside is the feds can't search through the rubble to find any information to actually convict you, which means you don't get disavowed. The wireless router is pretty much easy mode. Once you buy this, you actually have a wireless router in another room that your gateway connects to wirelessly. Any trace will end at the wireless router. So they can confiscate the router, but they'll never find your gateway as long as you have that router going. All you have to do is rebuy the router every time you get caught. Now, I prefer not to get caught. There are certain situations where it's kind of hard to avoid, but for me, not getting caught is always better. And SATA2, this depends on your gateway if it even supports that or not. Now, I know SATA2 is not for like satellite receivers and modems and cooling things and stuff like that, but uh, just bear with it. 
Okay, gateway upgrades. Right now, we are running the gateway alpha. It's this little piece of crap right here. Um, our end goal is going to be the Trinity, which is 148,000 credits. We have a long way to go for that. Um, Virtua Net is a decent mid-level upgrade, although it's not great. Chronos Corp is also a decent mid-range upgrade. The Zion is pretty good, but by the time you're spending that, you may as well just save them and get the Trinity. Now, the main thing that's going to limit us here is memory. Let's go ahead and clean our memory banks up a little bit. Give us as much room as we can have. On file deleter. Thank you. Alright, we got that. If we click here on rankings, that is going to tell us all of the current active agents and their status. These two have been caught and have been thrown into jail. Um, if I could associate their hacker name with their real name, I could actually break them out of jail. I'm currently number 45. And the new server, let's see here, uh, we're going for the hacker alias of Nuther1, but you can look over this stuff and see what's happened recently. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. There's Renoir. Ruben Findlay. I could break her out, but... I think I'll wait and see if Uplink pays me to do it. Let's go to the mission list. Bearing in mind that we do not want to do DNS records, the International Academic Database is usually pretty easy to break. So, improving academic standing, we can do that. Let's see if we can squeeze a little more money out of these guys. Um, break into a computer and sabotage files. We know we can do that one. And they are going to pay me a little extra because I have proven myself. Academic standing. There we go. A little bit extra. DNS records are a pain in the ass for social security documents. We're not quite ready to hack social security yet. We can do academic standings. We can do prove overrated. There we go. I want more money. I want more money. Thank you. Okay, that's all the missions that we can currently take that are worth doing. So we're going to have three at the Social Security Database, and we are going to have one break and enter. Let's do the break and enter first. It's high-speed computers. Let's disconnect out of here. So high-speed computers, internal services. I hacked them recently, so I still have an active admin password. That's what that line around it means. Downside is, when I connect, if this code still works, they're going to immediately start tracing me. You can see down here it says 1%. I have plenty of time to go. Sabotage files, they want me to delete 51835. Let's see here, where is it? There it is. And gone. Trace was only 3% complete when we're done, 4%. So we had forever and a day to go. Now, just to make sure we have all of the tools that we need, we're going to use the IP probe tool to check the International Academic Database. You come here and you type in the IP address, 165.224.220.253 and hit go. It's going to run a very quick check on their security systems and it's going to report it right here. 
The only thing they're running is a monitor, so they can trace us, but they can't do anything to us to stop us. So, let's hack the academic database, which is right there. Okay, government-owned system, all attempts at legal access, blah, blah, blah. It's just a simple admin password. It apparently doesn't save your hotkeys. Alright, while this breaks, excuse me while I clear my throat. <coughs> Not exactly sure what's going on, but I'm still kind of a little bit congested from the flu that I had a couple weeks ago. It still seems to be kind of hanging out in my head and in my chest, so... I apologize for having to clear my throat all the time, but... I figure you'd rather I do it off mic as opposed to doing it on mic and then trying to mute it out. Alright, so... Improve our academic standing. We're going to search these records, and we're going to look for... Renea... Robinson. And it's going to parse through all of the people in the academic database. You can see there are tons of people here who we can screw with eventually. Here she is. Um, not a very good student. Let's see, what do they need? She needs a first class degree in physics. So we're going to come here, we're going to change her to a class one, and we're going to commit the change. Now that the change is on record, we're going to reply, and mission's done. Now here, we're going to prove that someone is overrated. This is going to be Kirk Waterhouse. Unfortunately, you do have to type the whole name. It won't take a partial name and run a wildcard search. Okay, he... System Engineer. Media Studies Class 1? No. No, no, no. He's not a Class 1. He's Class 3. Alright, and improve academic standing. Lawrence Mitchell needs a first class degree. Mechanical Engineering, Class 1. The trace is only 8% complete. Congratulations, we are now ranked intermediate. That might open up a few new missions for us. But you know what? We're not done yet. Let's look for us. Hey, there we are. An A in math, an A in physics, an A in electronics, an A in computing. Uh, computer science class one. We're a registered uplink agent. I don't know if I like that being there, but it doesn't really hurt anything. They don't really care. Um, other qualifications. Uh, yeah, you get where I'm going with that. Alright, now, Internic is technically a government system, but they don't care if you hack them. They're free to the public. The International Academic Database, though, they do kind of care. Uh, no, we don't need the bounce path for this. If they do manage to trace us, which I don't think they'll run a passive trace, but if they were to run a passive trace and eventually find us, we might get a fine. It's an entry-level government system. They don't really care that much. That said, we don't want to be caught at all. We're going to access the logs, and we're going to bring up our new log deleter. Boost the CPU the whole way up. We need to get rid of this password authentication. And notice that it didn't leave a little log deleted thing. It actually shifted the logs to cover it up. Pretty cool, huh? 
Now, we could come the whole way back here and do all of these. For some reason, when you log out, it leaves this long-ass gap. It's going to take absolutely forever to clean this log if I were to do that, because it's going to want to parse through like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 percent. It's a pain in the ass. It's not necessary. The systems that we hacked so far aren't going to go through the trouble of undeleting the log. We don't need to. From here on out, we will clean it with the log deleter mark 4, but the existing logs, we don't really care. Now, that has made us a bit of money. We're up to 16k. With that, let's connect to Uplink Internal Services. Check our mission list. Ah, now we have some more stuff here. Client interested in financial data on an enemy. That is a bank hack. Trace a recent balance transfer. Wow. This is actually a very, very good day for us. These trace a recent balance transfer missions, this gives you the opening to hack a bank. And I'm not talking like hack a bank as in, oh, let's get into their account and take a look. No, I'm talking as in hack a bank as in steal the money from it. So we are just going to immediately accept this. Nope. We don't have a sufficient uplink rating to auto-accept this mission. We must first contact the employer. However, if you contact them and say, OK, agreed, they will immediately let you do it. This is far enough out of my range that they're not going to automatic. They're not going to pay me any more money unless I sit here and click it for ages. It's not going to matter because we're going to get all the money we need out of this. Skilled agent required to free fellow agent. That is a global criminal database hack. I'm not going to go after it yet because I know it requires VCD. Um, copy proprietary source code database. I usually don't do these missions just because you need 100 gigaquads of space or 90 or 70. You need some amazing amount of space. I don't want to do it. All right, uh, destroy customer records on a sales system. This usually requires a mainframe hack. Um, actually, no, it's just a very highly encrypted system. It's probably on a central mainframe, which is a little bit more complicated to hack, but not too bad. Now, our missions are going to require us to hack a bank. Banks usually run pretty hefty software. So, let's disconnect out of here and let's figure out what we need to do these next missions. Um, Enzyme Industries International. Let's probe the bank and see what kind of defenses they're running. They are running a proxy at level 5, a monitor at level 5, and a bandwidth monitor at level 5. The proxy will prevent you from making any changes in the bank. Not good. The bandwidth monitor will prevent you from hacking any passwords on the bank. Also not good. The monitor, all that's going to do is try to trace you, and it's also going to detect when you try to shut these down. So, we are going to need a proxy killer and a bandwidth monitor killer. Let us connect to Uplink Labs Research Center and see how much those are going to cost us. You can see here you can also get some hardware upgrades here. This is the high-end software, the cooling systems to increase processor efficiency, the high-end processors, all of that stuff. But it's the software upgrades right now that we're after. We need the bandwidth monitor killer, which is going to run a 6500. We can get that. And we are going to need the proxy killer. You can see we're running low on space. However, this gives us everything we need to hack a bank. Uh, we won't need VDPIN yet. Alright, let's disconnect. And let's go ahead and tag those banks. Um, we're going to connect to Enzyme Industries using our bounce path because we don't want to be traced while we're doing this. We're actually going to create an account. This is going to be a throwaway account. 
we need to create an account on this bank because we're going to need to delete a transfer log very, very quickly. Eventually. Now, we might not actually be doing it at this bank, though. We have to figure out which bank it went to. So, we're going to disconnect. We're going to go to Internet and clean up our log. This is probably an unnecessary step, but honestly, when it comes to bank hacks, you can never be too safe. Banks are the number one way people get busted in this game. However, a successful bank hack pretty much sets you up for life. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. We're going to load our bounce path. And we are going to connect to, not Universal Industries Bank, Enzyme Industries International. Now, we haven't done anything bad yet, so they're not going to trace us. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go into Manage Existing Account. We're going to use this guy's account number, 309-7287. Now, if I were to start running my password breaker right now, it would do absolutely nothing, because the bandwidth monitor is preventing us from accessing his account. What we need to do is we need to run our killers. Um, let's kill the proxy killer for the moment. We are going to start the bandwidth monitor killer. Now, this is going to be detected. We're also going to start the proxy killer. I don't think boosting CPU on these actually helps, but I'm doing it anyway. And they just notice we're after it. You can see this trace is running faster. We may actually want to increase our bounce path a little bit more before we start messing around too much with banks. Yeah, look at that. They're already 9%. 11%. I might have enough time to do this, I might not. If we were to follow their trace, they'd already be about there. And about there. 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 Okay. That is done. We can start cracking the password. Oop. Wrong button. Break that password. Okay, the proxy is disabled. I didn't actually need to disable the proxy on this, because I'm not actually changing anything. All I'm doing is taking notes. Come on. 33%, 35%. Done. Okay, we need to view this guy's statement. He transferred 1,100,000 to bank 181.3.91.126. The account number was 12944768. We're going to post that. Disconnect. We're going to quickly, quickly connect to Internet. We're going to go into the admin menu. This one, we seriously need to get rid of this log. If I were to leave these logs intact, that would get us disavowed. They don't mess around with bank hacks. Now, these are normal occurrences. We can leave those. We don't have to worry about that. We're safe. We are, however, going to have to seriously increase the strength of our bounce path. So, now that we're safe, We can take all the time we want doing this. That should be enough, but you know what? We're just going to add every internal services machine in the world to our bounce path. And a couple of banks, too. And some government computers. Basically, anything that is in our address book, we're just going to add to our bounce path. Alright, disconnect. 
we're going to come in here and we're going to load our bounce path. Now, our current bounce path ended us, I can't remember where. I think right there. Yep. So, let's just bounce back through all of these. Oops, I apologize for the noise. Okay, and that should be a good new bounce path for us. Should give us a lot more security while we're doing bank hacks. Let's go ahead and cancel out of this and turn all of these off. I could just use the hide all button, but you know what? I'm going to do that. Hide all. We'll come down here. We're going to re-highlight these banks. We're going to re-highlight those. We don't really need these other things highlighted. So we'll have internal services and internet highlighted, and that's it. All right. Uh, excuse me for just a second. Need to clear my throat again. All right, and I'm back. Now, we need to figure out which bank the money went to. To do that, we connect to Internet. We go into the Browse section, and we type Bank. That's going to pull up a list of all the banks in the world. Now, it went to Bank 181. That is going to be Microcommunications International. We're going to disconnect from here. We're going to tag him. He's right there. We're going to connect using a long connection. And we're going to create an account. Okay, your new account has been created. Good for us. We have no balance. We have no loan. That's fine. We're going to disconnect. We're going to clear logs. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Close. Admin. And log deleter. Access the logs. Destroy you. And destroy you. You would think after a certain amount of time seeing all that 127001 would arouse someone's suspicion, but they can't prove anything, so who cares? All right. Now it's time for some real stuff. Let's probe the bank, make sure we know what we're dealing with. It should just be a bandwidth monitor or a proxy. If it's anything else, we're going to need to do a little bit of software upgrading before we can work on this mission. Results of probe, proxy, monitor, bandwidth monitor. Good deal. We're going to kill that. We're going to load our bounce path. We're going to connect to this bank. going to manage an existing account. And we're going to pull up our notes. We need to get into this account. 
one two nine four four seven six eight. Once again, we need to kill the bandwidth monitor. And this time we will need to kill the proxy. Now, the mission, all it wants is a name. It wants us to give the name of the person who owns this account. Trace has started. We are going to be ready with our password breaker. As soon as that bandwidth monitor kills it, we're going to start hacking this account. Now, we're going to need to remember the known access codes thing, too, because what we're going to do here, and we're going to do this in very short order, we are going to break into this person's account, send the name, we are going to transfer all of his money to our account. Okay. Um, everything's dead. We're going to transfer all of that money into our account after we send that person's name. We're going to delete the transfer logs off of these. We're then going to transfer the money from this account to our Uplink account, and we're going to delete that transfer log. We're then going to close this account, and then we're going to wipe our logs. All right, view account. The account is owned by Eddie Thomas. Okay. 1106796. 1106796. Okay. Transfer money to the same bank IP, dot three dot nine one dot one two six. And which account number are we gonna use? We are going to use, of course, our account number. It's going to be two two seven six six seven oh five. The amount we're going to transfer is going to be everything in the account. One one oh six seven nine six. And this is where things get hairy. Log deleter ready. Transfer. The transfer was completed successfully. We're going to view the statement. We're going to delete that log as fast as we can. Uh, we're going to delete this log as fast as we can. We're going to... Uh, that's taking way too long. We're going to kill that. Uh, we're going to close this account. We're going to manage an existing account. We're going to go into ours. We're going to go security log deleter. I may have already taken too long. Okay, that log is gone. We're going to transfer money. We are going to use our uplink account, which is going to be 14.56.222.220. Uh, the account number is 436443. The amount is 1106796. Transfer. We're going to go into our statement. We're going to delete that transfer log. It's done. We're going to come here, we're going to close this account, and we're going to disconnect. I may have derped around too long. Admin. We're going to go into here, we're going to access the logs, we're going to kill this log. And... Oh, where is our bounce path? There it is. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. There we go. Alright. We can see we have a ton of money in our account. Now, the trick is, did we pull it off? Did we get away with it? In order to tell that, the best thing you can do just connect to Uplink Internal Services. We just got an email. Congratulations, your rating is now uber skilled. That usually means you've pulled off a successful bank hack. Sometimes you will still get caught. Not usually. We can now start spending some of our ill-gotten gains. First thing we're going to do is upgrade our gateway. We are going to buy the Trinity. 
Make sure we have the right account selected. It will let you overdraft. Yes, we have chosen to part exchange our gateway. Now, we are going to want an auxiliary gateway. On the auxiliary gateway, we are going to choose the Amcor file server. Why? Look at that storage space. Now, our auxiliary gateway is immediately available. We don't have to wait on that. However, we don't have a way to access it yet. In order to do that, we need the HUD administration panel. Do you notice the new tag come down here? Now, this is for our primary gateway. No countermeasures, gateway setup. This is our other gateway. This is our primary gateway, this is our secondary. We can switch our status screens and our next updates to this. Now, if we open our data banks, Um, oops. Let's switch our data banks and now let's leave the CPU power there. You can see we're looking at a blank screen. That's because we're looking at our auxiliary gateways data bank. We're going to go file deleter. We do not need a secondary copy of all this crap. This is going to be just file storage. Now, in the administration panel, you saw I tagged this for next update. We're going to go to hardware upgrades. We're going to go to memory. And how much memory do we have that we can put into this thing? Uh, let's see here. Let's view the gateway. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. We can upgrade this with 29 more. So 16. And then an 8. That's going to get us 24. 25, 26, 27, 28. 29. We still have $700,000. Now, hardware installation doesn't happen automatically. It doesn't happen instantly. You do have to wait up to 24 hours for hardware to be installed in your system. For right now, there really isn't a whole lot that we can do. Um, we can upgrade our modem on it. I think this will take an 8 gig quad. We could upgrade our RAM, we could upgrade our processors, but that is going to be primarily handled by our main system. So let's come back into here and let's switch all of our updates back to our primary gateway. Now, the best thing that we can do is just kind of sit here and watch the news. Let's go into fast forward mode. Let's go into very fast forward mode. Okay, that's our gateway upgrades. They are commencing with our primary gateway, or our auxiliary gateway. Okay. If we switch our data banks back to the secondary gateway, and we open this screen up, check out all that space. Yeah. Now, what we could do is we could just completely ignore our primary gateway, and we could just put all of our files onto here, and just keep this as our active data bank. However, I like using this for storing other things, like voice prints and databases and stuff like that. There's one database in particular that I might go after in this game that's very, very large, so you need a lot of storage space to hold it. But that is going to be for another episode. What I'm going to do for this episode is I'm going to fast forward. And ooh, someone had their central mainframe hacked. Wasn't me.
Okay. Unusual hiring practices noted by an analysts. Andromeda Research Corporation, known as ARC, has been extremely busy lately. Wonder what ARC is up to. Hmm, we may have to find out. Let's go ahead and close that. Our new gateway is ready. We've installed identical hardware into the gateway, and we have copied your memory banks to the new system. To complete the upgrade, you must log out from Uplink. This is one of the cool, nice little touches. In order to upgrade our gateway, we actually have to disconnect from the game. We have to log out of the game and log back in. Our gateway's been upgraded. If we come in here and we look at our system, well, if we look at this system, there's our gateway. So, we now have room for 8 CPUs, a ton more memory, 3 more RAM slots, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I might... You know what? I think I just wasted some money. I want a different gateway. I think I actually want the Omega Supercomputer. No, 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 it's, it doesn't have enough RAM slots. Or enough memory for my purposes. No, I'm happy with what I got. Or enough bandwidth, yeah. This one's got a lot higher bandwidth than... Yeah. Besides, by the time you get that many CPUs, you really don't need it. Alright. Um, I'm at 42 minutes in, so I'm going to call this episode here. Um, next episode, we are going to pimp out our gateway. We're going to buy some much-needed software upgrades. And then we're going to go do that other trace balance transfer mission and see if we can get even more money. And then we're going to make the world our oyster. So, until then, this has been Night Dagger with Hack the World. Let's play Uplink, or let's play Onlink, rather. Um, episode 2, I will be back probably sometime tomorrow with the next episode. I might do another episode of it tonight, or I might do a different game tonight. Or I might do nothing tonight and just call it an early night. Anyway, regardless, I will catch you guys when I catch you. See you later.